it's Elsie. Welcome to my channel. I can ask if it's possible to have a 3D text in CapCut. So with this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now let's get started. First, you want to open CapCut with the project that you want to add the 3D text. Then click on text, add text. Then type in the text that you want to use. You can click on font if you want to change the font. Then click on style. I'm going to show you how to create a 3D text with the regular text as well as the effects text. Then scroll back. You can use any of this, but it doesn't really matter because we are going to change the color. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. So under text, you can select the color that you want to use. Then go to shadow. You can select the shadow that you want to use. You can use black or you can use a similar color to the text color but with a darker tone to it. Then you can scroll down. You can adjust the opacity, blur, distance, angle if you want. So pretty much that's how you can create 3D text with the regular text. You can also add animation to it if you want. Let's do 1.5 seconds. Let's say you want to add more shadow to it. You can just make a copy of the text. Then go to style. Go to shadow. So you can use the same color and adjust the blur or you can use like a black shadow it's really up to you which one you want to use then you want to make sure you click on the first one so that one would be on the top and the shadow one would be on the back with this method if you are using animation you want to use the same animation with the same speed however some animations work better than the other so you also have to try out which one would work. For example, the random bounce doesn't really work. As you can see, it's not really like matched 100%. So let's change to another animation. So click on animation. I'm going to do loop this time. Let's do jiggle. I'm also going to do 1.5 seconds speed. You want to also add the same animation to the other one. Loop, jiggle, and then 1.5 seconds. Then make sure you click on the top one last. As you can see, this animation works pretty well with each other. So if you want to use animation to the text, you have to try out different one to see which one works better. So that's how you can create 3D text with the regular text. Now let me show you how to use the effect text. Let's delete one of them. Then click on the other one, go to style. This time we're going to click on effects. With effects, some you can change color, some you cannot. For example, like this one, let's go to style. When you click on the color under text, you can see you can change color. Let's try another one. For example, with this one, when you click on the color under text, you can see it doesn't change anything. But if you like the shadow effect of it, but want to use different color, you can make a copy of it. Pretty much is similar like the other one. Go to style. Except this time we are going to click on this icon to get rid of the effect. Then select a color that you want to use. So that's how you can change the color, but also using the shadow effects that you have. That's it for this video. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider like and comment down below. As always, please be nice to yourself and have a wonderful day. I will see you next time.